All right, it's back with the Land Rover and run to the trailer. We've put a patch on the front. So this is held on with what, 50 or 60 screws. That's a panel of ACM from a truck. And then we've completed the sides and that's a, a panel. Obviously I've got to paint this and then I've made the wheel arch. So she looks a little bit more four by four-ish at the back. So we've got a little slant at the back there. Then all under here will be, all under there will be black because uh, we've got a, guy, a chap making a wheel arch for me for the inside and he makes uh, wheel arches for Transit Julies. They're the two tie ones, so it makes them big enough. So he's making that. So this, the wheel's nice little central and we've got, uh, there's a beam across there. So that's all the screws are holding the panel on. Panel's being cut, of course. And we've cut the panel for the back for the back there and she's nearly enclosed I've got part of the floor in so the floors that's going to get uh, uh, screwed down to all the cross beams and and stuff and that'll kind of solid the sides out then that's our patch on the front that's held in quite neatly we've got a glue or a D's uh, this side to the cross member wheel arches inside now red oxided and giving strength to the side then I messed up my brackets for here, put too many holes in. They've become a bit weak, so I'm going to put new brackets in of them that hold the, tra the body to the trailer. And then the other side's done as well. There's my uh, wheel arch form. And then the back one. And then in, there, in that gap there is going to be a door. So there's going to be a window on this side, a door on there, and then a window in the front, and then a little portal on the back. On this panel i've got to put the pieces across uh, these strengthened pieces across this back here to strengthen it because that's a bit big of a hole for one sheet of acm <clears throat> and then i've covered up my vent patches i've taken them out so they were vent you know the swingy type fan vents to give ventilation so i've cut them off uh, put a patch on top of there and then i think there is going the roof vent i think it's there He's got the roof end. So we ended up with a pretty big trailer. It's actually quite uh, quite good. So inside, I'll show you the wheel arches. The wheel arches, they've got to come from there, right across there, down to that uh, uh, that uh, uh, you know chassis link there, and then back along here. So we've got quite big wheel arches in here because he's got quite big wheels. It's 16-inch wheels with cross-country tyres on it. They're quite big. So we're getting them specially made. This has all got to be painted, of course, in protective paint. That's all been hammerited, and yeah, we're looking, we're looking all right so far. We're looking pretty good. So that's the trailer so far. Nearly boxed in. I've got, the, I've cut the other part of the floor, so we're ready to put that in. But the elect, it's going to the electrician first because the lights here, so the lights are down low, and then what we're going to do is create lights, uh, replica indicator and brake light up the top. So we're going to have them there. And then we've got side markers, which at the moment are inside here. They're just taped on it. The cables are taped on it because we've got a side marker going outside here and outside there. So we've got two side markers on the orange side markers on the lights. And that, that'll be electrics done, I think. And we need some form of 12 volt power in here to charge phones and run computers and stuff. So we've gone all 12 volt, no, no 240, no hookup voltage just all 12 volts so that's the the trailer. so of our next job after i've got the electrics done is insulation so the insulation's in the yard that's already arrived so it's 25 mil insulation in all of these crevices and everywhere to make it all nice and solid we've got to put soundproofing on each panel that's bigger than yeah yeah so it's, we need a nice dull thud in there so we're putting soundproof on each panel this is actually the original soundproof on the trailer it's not very much, is it? <clears throat> but that's the original soundproofing, I think it is anyway. Uh, oh, sorry, anti-vibration dampening, that's what it's called, not soundproofing. But that'll make a nice dull thud when we're done. So that's the trailer so far. Uh, I'm thinking, well, we've got insulation on here. The only bits of, of wood in the whole trailer, because it's wood-free, this trailer, is going to be around the support for the roof vent, which is in there and then around the window vent which is there and the window vent which is there so water can't really get to the wood because it's inside the you know in a protective sheet so 
This is a no rot or never rot trailer with a bit of luck. So yeah, so we're coming on, absolutely brilliant. So if you've got any questions about rebuilding the trailer, by all means ask. Uh, some have asked, can ACM be painted? ACM is, uh, I thought I'd show you what ACM is. ACM is plastic, uh, plastic, and then aluminium on the edge. And it's, it's quite a strong panel. I mean, you know, they're not gonna, not gonna move anywhere. It's quite strong panels. And what I've done is, <clears throat> over time, the, the start to buckle a little bit. I'll, I'll show you one that's buckled. So this side one is slightly buckled. I don't think you can see it on the camera, but slightly buckled. They're, ah, there you go. You can just see it there. After a while, they slightly buckle. And the reason they're slightly buckled is because it's hard to keep them straight forever. So what we do on this one is we're going to glue it into here, into this cross support to make it, to keep it straight. Because that's about the maximum you know the maximum you can go for a span without any support so i might actually put a support of wood inside there just to keep it straight as well and glue it in just 25 mil wood just to keep it nice and straight because i mean these sides are quite a big span in fact there you can see it on that one look so see that moving that's just, and that outside will show us a bit of a ripple or a buckle so it just needs a piece of support across there to keep us straight forever because that's that is a big span and that's why i'm not doing the back without putting the supports in first because that's a huge huge span but other than that and that's why i put as well as i put screws every 10 centimeters along here to keep us straight so it should stay straight forever so using acm is pretty good it does take paint pretty well this is long dry paint which they use on barges but it's in a satin because it's a kind of military-esque kind of look but yeah if you've got any questions, by all means, give us a shout. Cheers. Bye.